walking the Isle of Wight coastal path, which is about 70 miles in circumference. We caught the ferry from Southampton and that arrived at East Cows. Uh, I've given myself a long time to do it, about six, seven days, because I want to take it easy and chill out and sit around a lot and hopefully do a bit of swimming in the sea. All works out. Uh, it's not a very glamorous start. Got to follow the A3021 for about a mile and a half, something like that. But I think it needs to get the most tedious and all and get out of the way. But it's getting quite warm already and this is an uphill climb. I think I'll be stripping off soon. Even though well they said there'll be showers, but we'll see. Well I'm glad to say I've come off that A road. It wasn't really very pleasant. It was busy. But fortunately there was a proper tarmac path along the side to walk along so it wasn't dangerous. Uh, so I've come onto a B road now which is a lot quieter and uh, a lot more pleasant. I've made it to Wooden Bridge. Just passed through the village of Wooden which to be honest is nothing to speak about at all really but this is very pleasant. Wooden Creek it's called and just so you can see it I'm blinded by the light there's the bridge. Well, that was Quar Abbey. It's a very peaceful place. And they've got a nice little cafe there as well. Now I've got to try and find somewhere to wild camp. I think I've found my campsite for the night. Just on this beach. At the moment, just sitting out here chilling. Looks a bit grim over there, but I don't think it's going to rain. That's Portsmouth, you see. And uh, I'm going to get my booby bag out and sleep out over there. I think, a bit later on, I think it's high tide. So, hopefully, it'll be good and dry. morning this is day two uh, my camp down on the shoreline was was really beautiful loved it uh, was watching just watching the uh, waves for I don't know quite a few hours and uh, ships going in and out ferries run till really late and then there were three of those massive great cruise liners came in I think they must have gone into Portsmouth Anyway, this morning, I watched them all come back out again. But yeah, it was really beautiful. So it's a bit after six and uh, heading towards right. I'm in 
ride now but I just wanted to show you those signs because so far the path has been amazingly well signposted that's right here early in the morning there's hardly anybody around a bit busier later I guess uh, this is right seafront hopefully there's a coffee shop somewhere there that's open This is Appleby Tower, just outside Ryde. I don't know if it's folly or what it is. Shame though, it's surrounded by scaffolding. This is my first bit of walking actually on the beach. Yesterday, today, so far it's all been on hard path, it's on tarmac, concrete, which um, to be honest is a bit hard on the feet. So uh, it's quite nice actually to walk on something that's just a little bit softer. After I came off the beach, I started walking along this promenade and uh, I sat down on a bench just there to check the map and have a drink and this chap stopped and had a chat with me and told me I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go back along this promenade now and then up on the road on the left, which is the right way. So it's a good job I met him, wasn't it? Sorted me out me walking on the right path now. That's a very long straight bit of path. The path now takes me along the top of this old dam wall which apparently was built uh, as a dam for a mill that stood on the other side. Whether it's still over there or not I don't I don't know, but um, yeah, that's the creek. Stopped at the Harbour View cafe there, had the uh, baguette and salad. It's very good. Uh, so, yeah, it's just here in Benbridge, Benbridge, uh, Key, Cay, Quay, something like that. Anyway, the lady was really helpful. She uh, filled up my water bottle for me and let me charge my phone. So, that's great. I'm set now. I'm walking down this path which is behind lots of houses in Benbridge. I was expecting to walk along the side of the coast but I know there's lots of places that there's been erosion of the coast path on the Isle of Wight but it's definitely signposted for this so maybe there's been a coastal erosion there and they've had to divert the path along this bit instead. The path has brought me down onto the beach now and that ahead of me is the uh, Bembridge lifeboat station. I think it's fairly new. Well I'm still making my way through Bembridge didn't really get to see Benbridge Town Centre or Village Centre. I think it's a bit oldish. Just Benbridge Suburbia.
I have arrived at my first official closure of the path. I guess it's because it's sunk down. So I'm not exactly sure what way you go now. I am very glad to say that we're back on the official path now. That diversion was kind of through a housing estate. I feel like I've seen enough of those. <laughs> Um, wasn't that well signposted to be honest, a bit of a letdown, but never mind. Anyway, we're back on it. Good stuff. Maze a small diversion and come down to Whitecliffe Bay. I'm very tempted to go for a quick dip. I went in. It was freezing, really cold. Shortest swim ever. But I did enjoy it. And I do feel definitely Fresh bite. I'm just chilling at the minute on the beach, letting things dry off, and then I'm going to go up there. Is that where the path goes? I'm going to try and find some, somewhere around there where I can dip it for the night. Now there's a view. I guess that might be right over there. Oh no, it's Fishbourne, is it? I can see Portsmouth, but I don't know whether it comes out on this. Now there's Whitecliff Bay. And on that peninsula is Pembridge. Over there. Good old England. On my walk around the island this time, I've been trying to take it a bit slower and just chill out and have time for pottering around. So I've only set myself a target really of about 10, 12 miles a day. Um, but I've been really struggling with that extra time this evening. Like while camping uh, means that you don't really want to pitch up till about eight, nine o'clock, wherever you decide to go. <clears throat> and um, I've just spent about an hour in the pub at a pint and it's um, it's only just after seven now. So I'm sort of sitting in this shelter thing. Uh, I thought I'd stay here till about eight o'clock and then um, then I'll go and uh, I've, I've found my spot. I know where I want to pitch. Uh, it's really windy at the minute and it's a bit cold with the wind but I think where I am it's it's kind of sheltered from the wind so I think it should be all right but yeah this evening seems to be like a like a long evening it wasn't so bad um last night we just sat there watching the watching the waves and watching the boats that was quite nice but I've got to admit this evening's a little bit hard and I know I'll wake up early. I'm going down into Sandown Shanklin tomorrow at the beginning. But by the time I'm done and I'm ready and I'll go down there, everywhere will be shut. So it's a bit sort of, um, it's a bit weird really, a bit strange. But anyway, every uh, adventure is a new adventure, isn't it? And it has its different pros and cons and hopefully learn from it all. Anyway, I'll show you my pitch site a bit later on. So this is my setup. It's only just gone eight o'clock. 
but uh, I've just got bored sitting in that shelter thing. So these trees here hopefully block the sort of gusts of wind and then I've put that shelter up there because there's a bit of a blowback and that's my view uh, over Sandown Bay.